The sequel is chronologically set two years after the original film. Uddharan Anita Rajan Ishwarya Rai Bachchan is the CEO of Shepherd Power Plant based in London. Holds a meeting with Mike Rajan, Victor Banerjee, her chairman father, and Hassan Kazi, Govind Namdeo, as a seemingly shady business advisor and facilitator. Regarding an ambitious proposal to set up a multi-billion dollar power plant in rural parts of Thay, state of Maharashtra in India, Uddharan, Kazi states that this project will be impossible due to possible political entanglements. When Anita asks him for a solution, Kazi states that enlisting the support of Subhash Nagre, Amitabh Bachchan, commonly referred to by his title of Sarkar, who he describes as a criminal in the garb of a popular and influential political leader, might help their cause, along with the chief minister of Maharashtra, Shinde, Shishir Sharma. They approach Sarkar with the idea of this project. Who refutes the idea, due to the fact that the power plant will be built in various villages, affecting the livelihood of 40,000 people. However, when Shankar, Abhishek Bachchan, convinces him of the benefits of the project to the state, Sarkar agrees to the proposal. Shankar advises Anita to stay away from Kazi, as he is not trustworthy. Kazi joins hands with Kanga, Sayaji Shinde who wants to become the chief minister of Maharashtra but could not as Sarkar is the overlord for Shinde's political party. Shankar and Anita begin campaigning in Thakarwadi to gain support of local public for the project. During their chat Shankar mentions that his toughest decision of life was to kill his own elder brother Vishnu. Anita tells that her father never saw her as a daughter and was her boss. Sanjay Somji Rajesh Sringarpur, leader of Farmers Association is shown to be protesting the Nagres. Meanwhile, Avanti, now Shankar's wife reveals to him that she is two months pregnant. Shankar also has growing friction in relationship with old family aide Chandar. Ravi Kale, on the other hand, Shankar's wife Avanti's car is bombed within the premises of Sarkar's villa. And Avanti is killed. Sarkar who is shaken suffers a shock and is admitted to a hospital. Shankar replaces Bala, Sumit Nijhavan, as head over Chandar, Ravi Kale, and asks him to quickly find out who was behind this brutal attack. Kantilal Vora, Upendra Limaye, come to Sarkar requesting him to shift the project to Gujarat. As Sarkar refuses, Vora, Kanga, Kazi are shown together hatching a plan. Chandar calls up Shankar telling Kazi was behind the blast. Shankar shoots Kazi in his house. Mike comes to India and is seen to be meeting Vora discussing about eliminating Shankar as. They both want only profit and Shankar aims for development for 40,000 villages living in. Thakarwadi also. Uddharan Chene. Vora and Kanga now hire a hit man to kill Shankar for 5 crore. While, Shankar and Anita are on a holiday. Anita cautions Shankar about an impending attack on them. A sniper shoots at Shankar six bullets. Who later succumbs to his injuries in hospital. A furious Subhash suspecting Vora kidnaps him. Uddharan. Sarkar tells Anita that his men have killed Kanga. Chandar. Vora and her father who was in London as revenge. He also tells her that these people were just pawns and the mastermind behind all this was his own. Guru, Rao Sahab, Dilip Prabhavalkar, who wanted his grandson Somji to take over Shankar. His guru comes to home to pay tributes to Shankar. Where Sarkar shows him his dead grandson. The film ends with Anita becoming Shankar's replacement.